Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today we have a, well... What? I said I've never heard of this. There's a weird story behind this one, but let's just go with the intro here. So this is the J. Frederick Three Wood Bourbon. Now, where did I find this? So there is a Barrels and Billets on the corner of the Louisville Slugger uh, Museum. Museum in downtown Louisville. Billets is a long block of wood that you slowly so spin up with the lathe to, to make baseball make bats. Mm-hmm. It's named the J. Frederick is a German immigrant, came over in the late the mid-1800s and opened up a wood shop in Louisville and at some point was somehow either making barrels or baseball bats. You, in that town, you can do both. You can do both. It kind of works <laughs> out. So here's the... The weird story to this, it's a franchise out of Ohio. <laughs> it's not that it's not that name that's a franchise. It's if you spin it around, it's that little itty bitty. I can't remember what, what the name was. Custom bourbon. So they have like six or seven of these stores and they're all named something different Interesting. they source the bourbons they have a handful of different bourbons and you do custom blending and you kind of can do whatever you want i don't know where they're getting them other than it is 30 percent, 36 percent rye which makes me feel like it's an mgp well Warren, product lawrenceburg from southern it, ohio is 45 minutes so. right so it feels like that's minutes. probably what it is is 36 percent rye which is just across an, the road from here an mgp it is one of those now this particular one the reason the three wood so the three woods are 200 year oak right. i'm assuming that's the age of the tree not that they cut it down and let it sit there for 200 years right. just yeah. uh, a maple wood okay. and a cherry wood finish hmm. so it's Regularly aged, and then it's finished with those three woods. Finished with just, just staves, or not that much information. <laughs> I'm guessing staves. I'm gonna guess that would be my guess. I'm guessing I think staves. You're gonna, I think you're gonna spread that, that three around. separate barrels and doing. I, I doubt that. Maybe since it is all coming from one franchisor. Is that the right word? Franchisee. No, no, no. They're the franchisee, right? The franchisor up in Ohio. Maybe they are doing this. I don't know. Thumbs up for the. It's Ooh, incredibly good dark cork. Too. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I'm not. It is straight bourbon. So I do believe it's at least four years old. Uh, that's about all I got. I don't have much on that. Uh, it is 100.6 proof. Don't know if there's anything to that. There's a reason why they picked fifty point three. I don't. I don't know if there's. I don't get anything on those. I don't even get. I don't even get like proof. Okay, that's over a hundred. Should get something. No, that's that's that that's really <laughs> muted. Yeah, I think this one's gonna definitely need some water. Wow, that is like. I get a hint of a sweet note, but I can't tell. But it's just like a, a faint little maybe. I don't know. It's a faint little maybe. No, no. All right. Weird. Very weird. That is fine. A little creamy. There's a definitely a rye spice yeah, bite to get it. The spice. Touch of an herbaly note, but a pepper. But way more on the per- peppery rye spice side. But you but get like that a, sweet ma- that maple. Cream. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say there's like a creamy like something going on. I I can see a little bit like a maple syrupy type note, maybe. But if it's those maple staves bouncing around in there, you're yeah, gonna get, yeah, I, I could also see the cherry, that cherry wood. Yeah, I, I get a touch of a cherry. I have to say, that's nothing, not bad. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> we're not getting anything on the nose. I was. That is not bad. I was getting ready to poo-poo this one, and it's actually not that bad. The palate is decent. Go figure. I had. Totally bought this on a whim. Just walking around downtown Louisville. Stopped at Michter's. They didn't have anything special out. Stopped at uh, Emma Williams. Stopped at... Not... Uh, not 
Was it, is it New Loop? Peerless was down there. Ooh, that's what it was. It was Peerless. I went to Peerless. Yeah, not much information on the back either. No, it's more about the guy than it is about the whiskey. <laughs> there were two other ones I think they had there. Um, and, and I just totally played Dumb Tourist and said, Hey, if you're only going to buy one, which one would you buy? They're like that one. It's it's won the most awards. It's it it's been recognized. Top 100 spirits in 2020. Yeah, it's been recognized. It's pretty good. And I was like, okay, Color, I'll buy that. Man. Dark. I can't say I'm getting like a wood. I'm not getting a wood dry note. Back. Go back to it. I'm not getting like a tanniny note. I'm just getting wood. Wood. Yeah. Little vanilla. I'm anxious for the water on this one. Definitely the rye. Peppery rye is coming off really strong. Mm -hmm. And then it gets all into the sweets of the maples, then the cherries, Cherry. and a little bit of caramel. Yep, okay. That is not nearly as bad. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. That's all I know. I like the first sip better than the second. That, um, the rye is funny. It's not just peppery, it's like herbally minty. I'm not digging the aftertaste right now. No. Mm. Shit, it goes back to muted. No, now I'm getting like raw lumber. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, I was like, I'm not getting muted. I'm getting a lot of just wood. I'm walking down the lumber aisle at Home Depot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, a little sawdust kind yeah. of. Maybe a, maybe a baseball bat. Lots of baseball bats. Smells like a lot of baseball bats. <laughs> well, it should. All right. So the pepper is there, but it's not as aggressive. It's much, it's smoother. Yeah, that's what, yeah, that, that pepper is not as aggressive. It was real aggressive. sweet on the front. Real sweet. I lost the maple, like on the taste. Yeah, the, the nuance that of the maple, the cherry, the, it's now just, there's the sweetness, wood. but it's just it, wood. with wood. Sweet wood. Oh, man, I'm bummed. That's not the water is going to <laughs> make it better pop a little bit yeah i'm now just totally interested in trying other franchise yeah Franchises. is it the same stuff is it the is it like do they do different blends like how's it all work weird very weird is there one around here you would think there would be but i don't know if you go to Custom their bullet. website the bullet the barrels and billets you can go to the bottom and it connects you to custom bourbon if you're interested in starting a whiskey franchise, franchise yeah, nice. they're looking for people what's the buy-in i didn't request <laughs> information i really thought about it for a second though I'm like hmm i wonder i wonder i wonder if there's even a cocktail yeah i'm sure it'd be fine as a mixer i don't there's nothing i don't get a note that's totally off-putting yeah I just don't get any, uh, there's not enough good, like, like notes that I'm just like, ooh, that's really, really solid. It's just fine. I was into, well, I mean. It's still better than like I thought I was it was going to be. I was anticipating it just being one of those, it was, it was just rushed. Right. I was expecting either young, like the crafty, artisanal yes, exactly. type thing, and I'm not getting that, which makes me again think that it's MGP, but it's not, we've definitely had better MGP. If this is MGP, I could not. I was trace it curious back. to see the other, the stories Options. behind the other, yeah, franchises. Yes, they all had different names. Well, they I did. So. so this was this is the John Frederick billets and barrels, barrels and billets. So they're probably just researching and finding someone that was involved with wood, involved with wood locally. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty it's bucks. Decent. Fifty bucks. It, it, it's decent. Yeah, for fifty dollars, it's, wor it's worth the roll of the dice. It was yes. That's exactly what it is. It was. I needed to at least try it to see, since I'd never ever heard of it. And now I learned that there's a whole franchise model for blending bourbons and doing tastings, and and you can blend your own, so you can get some of their individual bourbons mm -hmm. and taste them. And you can say, I want... It's fine. It's not amazing. Uh, it's an interesting story. It's an interesting business model. Yeah, I've never heard <clears throat> of bourbon franchises. Me either. Me either. <laughs> so it, it taught me something. That's the fun part, right? So you walk into a store you know nothing about. You buy a bourbon. You do a little research online. 
And now I learned that there's whiskey franchises. How about that? I'll have to say, though, it just is the more I drink it, the more and more disappointed I got. It, I agree. I was su- As it, it opened up, it did not get better. surprised in the first sip. Yeah, like, it didn't Ooh. get better. Yeah. But, but again, it's not bad. 50 it's just bucks, not great. It, that, that's an... Yeah, that forty to sixty dollars for me is like yeah, I'll roll yeah, the, you'd I'd, r- I'd roll the dice on. I it. wouldn't buy it again. Oh uh, no, at fifty dollars, I wouldn't buy it again. But again, it's all those conversation pieces when your buddies come over. Hey guys, yeah. have you ever had a bourbon from a f- bourbon franchise? Yeah, have you ever had a <laughs> bourbon based off of the Louisville Slaughter? That's right. all. I mean, that's kind of the whole idea too. Uh, well, yeah, this one I'm definitely gonna throw out. If any of you have had another, any of the other. Franchises. franchises, bourbons from any other franchises, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. Different. Is there one you really enjoyed that we should seek out? Yeah. Be interested. Uh, yeah, I'd be interested to do an AB versus one that people really Yeah, prefer. it's not a glowing review, but it's, no. just, it's an interesting story, an yes. interesting concept. Yep, absolutely. I, I give them a lot of credit for that. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed our interesting review of the J. Frederick <laughs> Three wood bourbon. It, it's an interesting one. Uh, again, like I said to Kevin, your buddies are over. This is this is a bottle you pull out and just give them the backstory. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, and, and, and and just have a fun time. It's more about the story than it is the right. Yeah, whiskey. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So, and again, if you've had some of the other bourbons from the, some of the other franchises, drop us a note. We'd love to track them down. Yeah. And now I'm uh, I'm curious if they're any better, any worse, just the same. Yeah. The same thing with a different label. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So, well, again, we'd love the support. Uh, if you enjoyed the review, we encourage you to hit that like button at the bottom of the screen. While you're down there, subscribe. We're trying to grow the channel to a thousand before the end of the year. I'm going to keep saying it because if you say it, It'll happen. it happens. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I'm going with right now. Uh, so, anyway, uh, if you could subscribe, we'd appreciate the support. Yeah, absolutely. Look forward to seeing the next episode. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>